story of how we failed each other as a community, as a society. Narrative, media, toxic masculinity. Let me paint a picture. Little boy, be tough. Little boy, don't cry. Little boy, be cold and only act out when it is rough and aggressive because that is what boys do. The women, gender, and sexuality studies all have made major contributions. And then there's the University of Humanistic Studies in the Netherlands, uh, who is that, and they are like highly represented. I don't know who's running the show back there because they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're highly represented here. And um, uh, the University of Minnesota Department of, uh, of Political Um, I think the idea was, how is it possible that so many people all over the world are working in the field of care and doing research, but sometimes they cannot find each, them, uh, each other. Sometimes they are separated, sometimes they are in different disciplines, publishing in different journals. So how can we connect them? How can we make an international network? Well, um, at the very beginning when I heard about this conference, and we were having conversations. We were brainstorming, we were dreaming. Something that came up, uh, shared amongst all of us who were talking was a common desire to have a few things here at this conference um, that invited various and diverse forms of engagement. When I say engagement, an invitation to see a visual collaborative photography project Doesn't it? I mean, this is like, it's so, it looks, yeah, it, it, it definitely sort of resembles my own experience of it, right? Yes. There's, there's no exit. So, yeah. As human beings, we also possess properties that we have only in virtue of relationships we are in with other human beings. Precarity here is a state of vulnerability a vulnerability that is part of bodily life, a vulnerability to a sudden address from elsewhere that we cannot preempt. Like Butler, I will argue for the need to recognize the impossibility of willing away this precarity, as well as the need to resist the various techniques of governance, such as securitization and populism, which prey on these vulnerabilities and erode our democracies. But I want to recognize that one way of resisting is to attend to our precarity, even abide by it, as Butler says, as, uh, as we begin to think about what politics might be implied by staying with the thought of corporeal vulnerability itself. And for me, that's key. If we can embrace um, uh, precarity, and I'll try to explain more about what I mean by that, uh, what politics is implied, by that, to me that's key.